Chicago is getting some praise and some backlash over a blunt welcome letter to its incoming freshman class. While political correctness is all the rage on college campuses, this letter from the Dean of Students reads in part, quote, Our commitment to academic freedom means we do not support so-called trigger warnings, we do not cancel invited speakers because their topics might prove controversial, and we do not condone the creation of intellectual safe spaces where individuals can retreat from ideas and perspectives at odds with their own. All right, here's our legal panel. David Bruno, a criminal defense attorney, a former prosecutor and a trial attorney, and Robert Schock, a defense attorney and former prosecutor. Welcome to you both. Good afternoon. Thanks. All right, so President Obama told uh, students at Howard University uh, there has been a trend around the country of trying to get colleges to disinvite speakers with a different point of view or disrupt a politician's rally. Don't do that, no matter how ridiculous or offensive you might find the things that come out of their mouths. Uh, David, isn't Dean Ellison pretty much saying the same thing? I, I thought, well, he does, in essence, but in a one-page letter. And personally, I think it's very reckless. This comes down to very complex First Amendment speech and how it's applied to universities. And what they tried to do in this letter is basically summarize it in one page saying that we welcome all speech. And that's not consistent with our federal and state laws. I'll, I'll just let you respond. Robert. I disagree in the sense that this wasn't a very reasoned approach that the university took. They had one of their law professors, uh, Jeffrey Stone, who had led a panel uh, that was feedback from students, feedback from faculty as to how we wanted to approach lectures and speech on campus. And this is what they came up with. And I respect the way it was handled. Two of the things that we obviously want to do when we send children to college is encourage them to learn, encourage them to accept the differences with one another, and to understand the Constitution and their constitutional rights to free speech, and that their free speech is something that they can say. And if they don't like what somebody else says, they can either debate it or walk away from it. But I thought it was a very well-reasoned letter and the way that they went about it. Uh, David uh, you know, to Robert's point, uh, as he says, uh, they did, uh, the University of Chicago uh, put together this whole uh, panel, studied the issue, put out a report, and concluded it is not the proper role of a university to shield individuals from ideas they find unwelcome. And this was after doing this whole study of the issue. And after they put that out, other universities enacted similar policy, policies, uh, Princeton, Columbia, Purdue, etc. They say based on what the University of Chicago Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with the message itself I think I, I disagree the way that they went about it they put it in a one-page letter this is more relevant to maybe an orientation or a class for freshmen because there's some very very concerning language in here let's just think mm -hmm. if you're in the LGBT community and you get a letter that says there is no safe place spaces where individuals can retreat from ideas and perspectives at odds with their own that is scary language it's problematic I just think there needs to be some explanation behind it you know what's interesting is that in fact the University of Chicago has a safe space right. for the LGBT community uh, and also they clarify this letter after the fact Robert and said and we do still allow our professors to do a trigger warning if they feel it's warranted is this inconsistent or is this sort of reassuring that they're not planning on going crazy with this they're just letting you know they don't want to take it too far the other way right I think it's we're not gonna get too crazy with this I think it's gonna be left up to each individual professor to determine whether or not they're gonna say listen if you have an issue with this obviously here's what the topics gonna to be and lay it out for them but they're not going to turn speakers away because it may offend a few they're going to allow students to potentially walk away from the situation and create these safe spaces but the university as a whole is not going to be making the announcements they're going to leave it up to the individual professors and that's what the professors said during the intern review as to how we think we should handle this David you know we keep hearing you know from critics of this PC uh, culture that uh, you know these kids are being coddled they are eventually going to get out into the real world people are going to say things they're not going to be able to run into the bathroom and hide what about that whole coddle millennial thing well, it comes down to First Amendment jurisprudence. I mean, really, it, it, there are case by case, there are cases that have to be interpreted through the courts. Mm -hmm. And it is an issue. It's a hot issue. And when we see a letter come through like this, I really have to question the motivation. Why? I mean, this is a hot issue, but it's also a political one. And, mm -hmm. and these presidents and the deans are out there to get donations. And I just have to question why this was done. Well, and, and that is what some people are saying, is that uh, a lot of parents are against these safe spaces and whatnot and that this was really more a letter to the donors than to the kids uh, to say hey keep supporting our school you, you think that's 
part of this? Is there a political motivation here? There could be, but again, I think the most important thing is they're telling students now and students for the future that, that this is a place where you want to be and you want to be a free thinker and you want to be able to engage in debate and you want to be able to challenge yourself and challenge your fellow classmates to have open discussion, open dialogue, then this is the university for you. They're just putting it out there that we're, you know, this is who we're about. And I think right. that's a good message to send. Got to go. Robert Schock, David Bruno, thank you both so Thanks much so for much. joining us. Thank you, Pat. Eric? All right, that